Hey y'all, it's me, your fave G, and I'm back with another one. All right, so this is the second paycheck of March. Yep, paycheck two, paycheck two. We still rocking, we still rolling, period. <laughs> I am so excited that you guys clicked on this video. If you are new here, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am so glad that you chose to click on my video on today. This channel is all about budgeting, saving, and having fun. We talk all things. If you like that type of content, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know you're a new subby down in the comments. I like to engage with my friends. We are family. We are friends. We are here, and we are getting to know each other. Let me know if you are on your budgeting journey. Let me know if you've been following me and you've just been quiet. Let me know down in the comments. I want to hear from you. I like to talk back to you guys. I'm sure y'all know that by now. <laughs> but... We are on our second paycheck two of March. I'm so excited. Y'all, I have been on this journey for three years now. My first year, <laughs> it was horrible. It was horrible. I was putting the money in the envelopes, pulling it back out, putting it in there, pulling it back out. Last year, I became real intentional about it. I was like, you know what? I'm going to do this. And I saved ten thousand dollars just by stuffing envelopes not doing anything extra or anything that's all i was doing was stuffing my envelopes saving my money and being intentional about how i was spending that's it that's all i tell everybody i love to spend smart now i'm still a spender but i spend smart and i don't just go crazy because i used to go crazy y'all something was wrong with me literally something was wrong with me <laughs> All right, so we're going to jump right into this cash stuffing because I don't want to keep y'all here too long. We always start off with our weekly cash binder. This here is my teller slip. I have not, I always wanted to get some teller slips, um, but I have not invested in any yet. So it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. No pressure. I'm going to get me some, but for now, this is my teller slip. <laughs> All right, um, these binders, I'm sorry, are, are going to be available back in, um, I have the white and I have the brown on my Etsy shop this week. <laughs> I'm so excited because them people over there, I've been fussing with them like y'all taking too long. I've been ordered and it never came. Like gas and groceries has nothing, of course. It literally always spends every quarter of every nickel out of it. All right, I have five, six, seven left in the boys' envelope. And I know I don't have anything in my envelope because I overspent this week. Yep, sure did. It's fine. I'm going to pull and I'm going to pay myself back. All right. Take my coins out. I got me some coins, baby. All right. Let's take that out. I'm sorry if y'all hear that extra noise. Oh, my receipt before I start. This here is my receipts. I scan these into the Fetch app. If y'all are on YouTube, in this budgeting community, in this savings community, and you have not heard about Fetch, you need to go down in my description box right now and download the Fetch app. I have a code up in there that will give you 2,000 points. Baby, Fetch is Fetch. That's all I'm going to tell y'all. For Christmas, I spent Damn near all my points on Christmas gifts. Yes, you can spend those um, cards anywhere. They give you gift cards. The gift cards redeem into cash. You can spend them whatever you want to. So know that. Know that. Know that this process, baby, we saving money around here. We saving money. We doing smart things. So if you do not know about Fetch, go ahead on in the description box and download Fetch and start scanning those receipts so you can get those points. Period. What a dot. <laughs> All right, this here is my piggy bank. I want to show y'all. Can y'all see it? I love it. I love it, love it, love it. I don't have to count my change anymore from the end of the week. I just go over here. This here is linked in my Amazon storefront. So go on there. Click that link in my description box so you can get one of these. It counts your change for you. Because last year, y'all, I paid Coinstar like $60 because I saved $300. And I wasn't tripping at first, but I'm like, girl, I gave them people 60 of my dollars. Like, mm-mm, mm-mm, nope, not doing that no more. I'm going to go ahead on and count my own change, and at the end, I'll bring it to the bank. All right, and these $2 from my cash wallet is going to go into my dollar box. This is also linked on my Amazon storefront. I love, 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 love this box. So every 
dollars that I get um, for the end of the week. We just save them here. This is my $1 challenge. I know people have so many different $1 challenges. Let me get that in there because... Okay, there it goes. It's in there. It's in. And you cannot, literally, you cannot get in this box. So I'm going to be stuffing this box till December 31st. <laughs> That's my plan. And I want to see how much I can stuff and squeeze into that box. All right. This $5 is going to go, I'm going to sit it right on top of my $1 box because I'm going to try to attempt to do my monthly scratch-offs on camera. Somebody was like, do it on camera. Do it on camera. I'm going to attempt to do my monthly scratch off on camera. Okay, y'all? All right. So let's count what we are stuffing. This money bag is available on my Etsy shop. I have the big one and the little one. They come as a set. It's on my Etsy shop. All right. So let's see how much we are stuffing. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's not right. <laughs> All right, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 80, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 5, 10, 15. All right, so we are stuffing 845, right? That's wrong. That's so wrong. I'm counting it over. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> 5 hundred. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82. 20, 40, 60, 80. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I'm sorry if y'all hear all that noise in my background. I am recording because school was out today. And everybody's home. So, we just gonna roll with the punches because if I wait any longer, my video will not upload. But we are stuffing $845. All right, somebody was like trolling in the comments and was like, that calculator does not work. Baby, why don't? What are you talking about? This calculator do work. This calculator is also linked on my Amazon storefront. Go get you one. I love them. Love, love, love. So I always start off with my savings binder. And for my sons, I'm giving $40 to, so I give both of my sons $40 a week. My goal is to save a big lump sum for graduation for them. So they have money in their savings account. This here just gets applied to their savings account as the year goes on. So in the bank right now, at so far this year, we've stuffed 500, 20, 40, so 540. And if you are new here, I always replace my denominations when it gets to 500. I take it from the envelope and put it into our Ohio savings account so that I don't have as much money in my home. A lot of people wonder, do you just keep all that money in your home? No, baby, I take the money out of my home, even though my home is very much protected and we have a fireproof safe, but we just still, and both boys get the same amount. So, of course, Kanye has 540 as well. All right. Um, but, yeah, that just keeps from having so much money in your home. In our emergency fund, our emergency fund has 1000 in the bank, and we're adding 100 today to it. So, we have 1100 so far. Ten K challenge. So today for our ten K challenge, the number we are choosing is three hundred. One, two, three, and look like we didn't made it to a placeholder. So we have one thousand. Do I even have a place? I do. I have a placeholder. Okay. So I have one thousand in the bank. And we have one, two, three, four, five hundred. So five hundred. I'm gonna take this five hundred and I am going to sit this five hundred to the side, and I'm going to take a placeholder. You see this? Look at that. I make both of these. They're so cute. I just love the cuteness of the vinyl. So 
I like cute stuff. I, if y'all have not noticed with my whole setup, everything has to go in order. Everything has to be cute and pretty and simple. <laughs> All right, so I will take that money that I just pulled from this envelope and put it into a high health savings account. And that's it. That's that for that one. And we are to our monthly savings challenge. All right, so I allotted... <laughs> Let's see, because I told y'all I don't like going back to the bank, from the bank and all that. So, I allotted for $20 to come out of here, right? $25. And then I have this. So, let's just see what we could scratch and what we could do and how we could do with the do and the do. Okay. So, oh, look at me, y'all. So, we're going to scratch here dog <laughs> we gotta do it then we gotta do it we gotta do it we are not shortening ourselves this week so this week we are stuffing 30 hold on let me clean that so y'all can see it 35 dollars in our budget challenge now this would be wow if i literally went ten dollars under i was trying y'all i was trying see that's why i scratched before so i can pull the exact denomination right so i think i did 10 <laughs> i think i did yes i did i did 10 20 25 okay so I did pull 20 from there, and this five came from rollover. So I owe myself 10 more dollars. See, that's why I don't like pulling like that, y'all. I like to do it when I scratch first so I can go to the bank and get the right denominations because I don't like this ghetto stuff. I don't like having to owe myself and all that. Like, no. <laughs> so, so far in the March challenge, we have 20, 40, 50, 55, 60. 65 70 75 80 and this challenge here is from my girl easy budgets i love 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 her challenges and it goes throughout the year and you just save up these challenges i'm using to pay towards some credit card debt that i am rushing rushing you guys to pay off <laughs> we are going to move into my high priority sinking funds binder and for school, school is getting $10. So, y'all, tell me how the weather is by y'all. 1, 20, 40, 50. The weather here is going to get really cute. Like, I mean, uh, the pollen is horrible. I don't like it. But, like, the trees and it's getting cute out here. It's getting really cute outside. We had a little sprinkle earlier. I'm like, uh. There go the rain, because see, down here in Louisiana, baby, we're going to get some rain. Holidays is getting its normal $5, 20 40 45 50 Yeah, so how is the weather by y'all? Some people I see, like, I love that I have so many different friends in different areas. Um, and some people I see, they have their coats on, and it's snowing, and I'm up here sweating. <laughs> My anniversary is getting its normal 10, so it has one 10 now. I'm trying to plan this big old bow renewal for next year, y'all, because we make five years on next year. And as much as I'm planning, like, as big as our family is, I'm starting to think about, <laughs> I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> Do not want to deal with it. Like, because planning a wedding is a lot. Christmas has one, two, twenty. Planning a wedding is a lot, man. So I'm just just trying to see before the time comes. Do I really want to deal with it? Do I? Do I? <laughs> vacation is getting its normal twenty. So vacation has two twenty as well. All right. So I'm gonna move into my low priority sinking funds. I'm going to fill my trackers out when I get off um, offline because pulling and doing all that, I just don't feel like it today. <laughs> I 
So today, Spo Me is getting its normal twenty dollars. So Spo Me now has one hundred twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, two hundred. All right, Spo Me. I'm actually waiting until for a little while, but I'm about to use that envelope. Beauty. Beauty is the one that gets pulled from frequently. So a lot of people ask me, why do I separate it like this? So this envelope is my low priority. I'm pulling from it a lot, like a lot, a lot. Whereas my high priority, and this is just my preference, my high priority binder, I don't pull from it as much because it's it's a purpose. Like I have that money there for a reason alone, right? Uh, beauty and beauty is getting twenty dollars. So beauty now has twenty, forty, sixty, eighty one. So I gotta build this back up because everything is done on my end. <laughs> my car maintenance envelope is getting ten dollars. Twenty, forty, fifty. And y'all, y'all didn't even remind me. I didn't write myself for oh, ten dollars to my monthly budget. Listen, I am at that age where I have to write, <laughs> um, write everything down, y'all. It's horrible, but I am at that age, baby. I have to write everything zone. Sure do. Don't play with me. Don't play with me either. <laughs> And household is getting 10. I totally exhausted household this week because we had to get a bunch of stuff from the store. So I had to go ahead on and throw it in there. Um, now we are moving over to our weekly cash wallet. And groceries is getting its normal $100. The good thing about this is it's re it really goes up to you. Like, you do what you want to do. You don't look at what nobody else is doing and feel pressure and feel like, man, my I, I can't stuff as much as I want. I can't. No, baby, no. You do what's good for you, your household, and your pockets. That's what you do. Don't focus on what nobody else is doing. That's what I had to learn because when I first started cash budgeting, I wanted all the envelopes, baby. I wanted every last one of them. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I allotted for $40 this week because I thought I was going outside this week and I'm not. Not, not going outside, but it wasn't to do nothing major. I just was going to do a little out in or whatever and i allowed it for 40 dollars, but i really 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 don't need 40 dollars. so what i'm going to do is that 10 dollars that i need for this monthly challenge yes y'all i am intentional about this i don't play like that i'm going to put that there and i am going to take two tens from here so 20 40 60 70 75 80 85 90 boom I'm all caught up. <laughs> Just like that. I think I did that last week too. Pull from there. But I like that though because I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. And spending is going to get $30. That ain't going to hurt me that I just have $30 to spend this week. I'm not even doing anything. My husband's on the road. I have to pack, 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 pack. So, nope. Nope. I'll be inside. All right? That's it, y'all. I'm done. That was fast. Was it fast? Nope, it wasn't fast. It was 18 minutes, but it felt pretty fast. But thank you guys so much for sticking it out with me, watching this video. I am so excited that you are on this journey with me. If you are doing cash stuff and if you are budgeting, if you are saving, let me know your savings go down in the bottom. Let me know what you are planning for, what you're saving for. If you're just saving to save because that's your lifestyle, let me know. Let me know. This has turned into my whole life. Literally, I am starting my Monday off waiting to cash stuff on Fridays. I am watching my savings. I am watching. I'm looking for different things to invest my money in because this is what it's about. It's about building generational wealth and breaking those generational curses. Bye, y'all. See y'all next time.